characters in these stories are the people that live in between things, in between actions and places, and even in between the moment before you make a horrendous mistake or choice. And they are of their material conditions and purely embodied. Corporeal writing came out of my sense that everybody on the planet is carrying the stories of everything that's happened to them in their actual bodies. But we spend so much time in the putting your energy outward to consume things to receive them that we sort of forget. And one of the reasons I think I'm on the planet is to help people one at a time remember that the stories you're carrying are more important than the crap you consume. And that capitalism has anesthetized us so deeply that, you know, we're having trouble remembering we have an identity that lives inside these, these meat sacks we're walking around in. And it's worth something. And it's also how you recover agency in your own life is to touch your own shoulder or the ache in your back or neck and ask, what stories am I carrying there? And how do I bring a self back to a self? <laughs> Rather than giving every ounce of energy we have away to this other motion, which is consumerism. Yes and no. I mean, Portland's pretty freakish, that keep it weird thing. I know it's just a slogan and a brand and it's stupid, but there is a strange configuration of people here. Um, and in some ways it's not like other cities because we have this sort of secret underground art motion and music and food and, you know, um, different identity configuration going on. And it could make or break us. I mean, Portland's also incredibly white and we have such hard work to do um, in terms of intersectionality. But it is like other cities, and it's like this secret that isn't like other cities. And my biggest worry is that the, the things that have happened to San Francisco and Seattle are about to make the squeeze on us, or are already making the squeeze on us. <laughs> sure. My idea of heaven is that we look back down at the ground and understand that we have an intimate relationship with this planet and that when we say we love as sacredly as possible, we need to be turning that love toward the dirt the way we claim we love each other. Um, my idea of heaven would be that we get rid of the actual story of heaven being beyond us and a better place and return our devotion to the planet and to dirt.